directionally front. Can you see my shirt? Let's see here. <laughs> Hi. <laughs> You see my shirt? Oh, we're live. Oh, honey, look at my shirt. Look. Can people see it? What's it you going to move the cameras over here. I'm really... Read it to them. Uh, I'm really a witch. Don't let this human costume fool you. <laughs> That's our house. We just bought this. Yeah, this we is, just bought this, this rickety house behind all us. All we can afford in Portsmouth. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. With our salaries. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> we each make a million dollars a year. Yeah, the medium uh, cost of a house is $400,000. So uh -huh. this is what we got. And we're yeah. going to fix it right up. We are. We're going to fix can it. We're going to be it? like okay. uh, oh. house hunters. <laughs> yeah, now we'll just move back and forth like Wayne's World. <laughs> Excellent. <laughs> <laughs> so welcome back to Adulting with Donnie. I know it's been like two weeks since I did an episode, mm. but I've been waiting so patiently. For what? To have you on. Really? Thank yeah. you, honey. Didn't we do one like last? Oh, we haven't right? done one in for. Oh, last fall. Oh yeah, I think last we, were in costume. we were in costume. Yeah, I was a, a nun. And I was a priest with nothing on underneath my gown. <laughs> it's very naughty. I was very naked. <laughs> Yes. Yeah. You were like, don't stand up in front of the camera. <laughs> no, no, no. Put those things away. Yeah. Yeah. Put those away. <laughs> this is a family show. Mm hmm. Yeah. Very family friendly around here. <laughs> Happy Halloween. Happy Halloween. Yes. Our second Halloween together. Our second. We're going into our seconds. Mm hmm. Second Halloween. Second, second Thanksgiving yeah. coming up. Yeah. Everybody thinks we should get married. I know. That's, uh, yeah. What do you think about those comments? Mm -hmm. no. no. That's how we met. Do you want to get married? No. Do mm -hmm. you want kids? No. Nope. We can do this. We can do this. Mm hmm. I don't know, maybe someday, if something, if we needed to. I guess if things change, I don't know. I just don't, I'm not in a rush to get there. Me either. I love you. I love you more. No. We would have an epic wedding. What would our wedding be like? Planes. Planes. Cheetos. Wonder Woman. Wonder Woman. Wonder, cats. Cats. Uh, could Deadpool. graphite be like a, like a flower bearer? A ring bearer? You could be a ring bearer. Ren is a flower a girl. A ring bearer. And, he, and Renna could be a flower girl, but she'll eat them all before <laughs> she gets to She'll eat the flowers. Work. And anybody that touches her, she'll kill them. Uh-huh. Yeah. <laughs> There'll be a lot of blood on those flowers, everybody. <laughs> It'll be <laughs> impossible to get her moving yeah. down yeah. the aisle. Pretty much. You'd have to comatose mm -hmm. her, and somebody would have to drag her with a, like a harness on her. Uh-huh. After she was like drugged. Uh -huh. She's got a lot of, uh, she's, we ran out of kitty minutes. That's what they tell me. <laughs> the vets. <laughs> she's very spry for She's very lady. spry. 17 years old and you wouldn't know it you at talk, all. You talk for a minute. I just got to, yeah, I'll, I'll try to keep up spry. with you. I just remember like that there was one time I took her in. It's really embarrassing because every vet trip is like $500 for her. And she was feral as a kitten and she never grew out of it. So I used to hold her as a baby and she would just <laughs> the whole time. And she's this cute little furball. And yes, then, she is. yeah, and then I saw like on this documentary one time it talked about um, wild wolves and it said that it took like three generations for them to get the wild out of them. Yeah. So, because they took a domestic wolf, they took a wolf and kept it in a domestic household. They took one and put it out in the wild. And by the time they were the same age, they were still wild. Yeah. So I was like, all right, it's going to, she's not going to be lovey. And, no. You're the first human man that she's let pet her ever. <laughs> she lets me pet her all yeah, the time. Yeah, she lets you pet her. I can just reach down and pet her. <laughs> yeah, until you're out of kitty minutes. Uh -huh. And so I just remember yeah. taking her to the vets because she gets like all mad and I feel like a terrible like cat mom. Mm -hmm. But I take her to the vets and I'm like, listen, I go, I'm a cop and she tries to kill me. And they're always like new vets and they're so sweet. And they're like, oh, Renna. And she's like, ah, ah, and she tries to bite them. So then now it's that I have to bring her in for a blood test, which is like $250. And they do that, and then I have to bring her back, and then they sedate her, and then they shave her, and give her a cute little lion's cut. And then one time I went to go pick her up, and she's literally, she's tiny. Like, Graphite's like, how big? How many pounds do you think? Like, 20 or something? He's a big boy. Not quite 20, but 17 or 18. All right, you're so particular. He's pretty close. Yeah, he's well, pretty... for whatever reason with pets, they're, like, very particular. Right. It's not like you can round up or down with, with humans. Where right. It's like, oh, you weigh about 130. Mm-hmm. As they weigh so little, but she's, yeah. I mean, she's got to be like, now it's like after picking up him, you pick her up. I'm like, oh, mm -hmm. I'm like freaking the Hulk. Yeah, you pet um, him and you can like when I pet him, like you get your hand pretty wide open on him. Right. And he's got this back. huge head and then uh -huh. Rena's just itty bitty, man, yeah. but she will jack somebody up. And so I went to go get her and she was still sedated and they said, can you go back and get her? And I was like, what are you talking about? <laughs> like, and so I go back and she's in this little cage and she's just like drunk. You know? uh -huh. She's swaying back and forth and she just looks and goes, meow. 
Oh. And I'm like, oh, baby. And so I just went and got her. And I just thought it was hilarious. I'm mm-hmm. like, these, she took down everybody. Uh-huh. Yeah, she is a spy. Yeah. She's wiry. 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 She wiry. likes to eat toilet paper. Oh. If she had a dating profile, it would be like. <laughs> <laughs> I like Stinky as I poop. Like eating, I like eating di- toilet yeah. paper. I like eating shower curtains. Yeah. Oh, my God. Shit smells like an old man. She I... smells like a freaking old man. Like, you walk in. I don't even know. She's so tiny. And she sinks up the whole freaking bathroom. Uh-huh. Like, I'm spraying deodorant. Like, whatever. Deodorized spray. I'm turning on the vent or whatever. But you walk in that and you can fucking smell it a mile away. She's... This big and she, the smell is like this big. It's like way bigger. You know what I'm talking about. You're I like, do. oh my god. And I now I know uh-huh. the difference between her. Shit Which is and, crazy to me. Uh, we'll walk in and you'll be like, Graph, I took a shit. I'm like, I, I can tell someone <laughs> took a shit. You didn't today. I came home and I I'm didn't. like, somebody yeah. pooped. Yeah. And you're like, they did. I was just right here. Uh-huh. And then you would in. You're like, yep. Mm-hmm. Yep. <laughs> I am the. Mm-hmm. Like a pig that smells out truffles. I smell mm-hmm. cat poop. I yep. guess. Oh, that's a that's something. But no, her um, dating profile would be that. And so, like, yeah, she, um, you know. She's, Hates long walks around the house. Yeah, she's artistic with the shower curtain, like you said. Uh-huh. It's all bit up and beaded. Toilet paper. What else? She, she likes to hide under beds. Um, she yeah. commandeers the sink. Yeah. Um, cries like she's never eaten before in her life. Likes to swipe at you when you walk by. <laughs> yeah, she's. If you get in her bubble. And she's got a <laughs> wide bubble. So if you get in her bubble and you walk by and and you happen to walk by that space, yeah, she'll take you out. She'll take a swipe yep. at you. Yeah, <laughs> <laughs> and she'll hiss. <laughs> but she lets you pet her. She does let me pet her. I wish she drew blood and you were trying oh, to yeah. hide it from me. Yeah, the first time that I met her. Well, maybe not the first time that I met her, but one of the first nights, one of those first nights that I came over, she was in the living room, and I like was very timidly like. Hey, how are you? And I was reaching out, and you were sitting on the couch, like, "Holy shit, is this guy about to fucking Try cat to whisper? Cat? Is this guy like cat whisper? This is like he's she's actually gonna let him." I was so scared for your I life. I got within like six inches, and all of a sudden she just reaches out and whack, and hits my middle finger with a claw <laughs> and drags it right down the finger. <laughs> and then I sat on the couch and noticed it was bleeding, and I had to. I was sitting on the couch pressing. I didn't want to embarrass myself with. Was, we were first together. It was our first like. It was those oh, it was those courting moments and I was like I'm not yeah. gonna I don't wanna show this yeah. I don't want you to feel bad that your cat cut me open <laughs> like Freddy Krueger. <laughs> yeah, she's trying to take you. And, and then, then she eventually forgets. I was like, Oh, I just gotta throw something out real quick and I slid off into the kitchen. And you're like, Are you washing your hands? Yeah, I just gotta wash my hands real quick. I'm like, oh, there's so much blood. <laughs> Cats are so dirty, and then it like puffs out and everything. Mm-hmm. But she's crazy because then she'll walk by like she didn't do anything. Yeah, 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 yeah. Like we'll sit there and eat dinner, and she'll do walk bys yeah. like quite a few times, and it's like she'll try and get up and sit with us, and then yeah. she'll get down, and then thirty seconds later, like she's walking through again. Like, she'll swipe at you, hiss at kitty, you, kitty Alzheimer's, kitty and dementia. And then she'll come back like, hey, yeah. give me some love. Mm-hmm. I wanted love. What happened? And then she just looks at you like I don't know, like she's looking through you, like you don't get it. Mm-hmm. I'm like, why? Yeah. Here, here I am. Mm-hmm. And then the first time I met Graphite, I thought he was trying to kill me. <laughs> yeah, that's right. Yeah, yeah. I think I was downstairs. <laughs> I was downstairs doing a podcast with Jason and, uh, and Vegan Patriot. And Vegan Patriot. And then I came upstairs, and you were like, "I didn't know." What th- I came in the bathroom, and he was hissing at me. So I put him back in his cat carrier, and now he's in the other room. Yep. <laughs> yeah. I was like, "What's up, buddy?" And then you ended up coming in a couple hours later into this very room that we're in, yeah. which is which What's happens transition to be just, room. which yeah. is just outside of this beautiful house that we bought. Mm-hmm. There's another room. <laughs> um, so yeah, we we and then the three of us, me, you, and Graphite, sat on the floor for like hours and bonded. And yeah, like he just kept going up to you yeah. and rubbing his face on you. Mm-hmm. And, Loving on you. But he's the opposite of Renna. When Renna hisses and yells at you, then you're going to die. Uh-huh. And when he yeah, does yeah, it, he just does it. He, it's like He'll he doesn't know when he he's supposed really to know. do it. He doesn't yeah. really know how it you're works. You're like, hey, not in there. I'm not in there. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. I'll get up in the morning to feed him. And I'm like, come on, let's go. Let's go downstairs. Come on. And he'll turn and hiss at me. I'm like, all right, really? We're doing... Okay, that's how we're going to start the day? Daddy's trying to feed you. <laughs> trying to feed Daddy you. Daddy loves you. <laughs> oh, and now he won't leave me alone. It's mm-hmm. my shadow. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. I have to come home and pick him up every time we get home. He's right there at the door. And mm-hmm. now he tries to go outside. Uh-huh. I got to pick him up at home like a baby till he starts purring. Until he purrs. Yeah, and then yeah. I put him down. Whereas I get home and he's like, oh, it's you again. <laughs> where's my mother? Yeah, where's mom? <laughs> 
I don't want you around Where's here. Mama? And then he's so cute. He loves Rena so much and she wants something he does. to do with him. He does love Rena a lot. <laughs> he's so he's so sweet and patient mm -hmm. with her. Mm -hmm. And she just looks at him like, why are you still here? He sniffs around at her yeah. and then she'll yeah. she'll notice and <laughs> Yeah, she plays hard to him. get. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Yeah. She's like, I'm not no young man. Uh-huh. I'm no chump. <laughs> They're cute though. Yeah, he always checks on her. He just uh -huh. wants to be near her. Uh huh. Yeah, yeah. So he wants to be near. Cute. They. I think they want to be near each other. They do. She they just, just doesn't want to admit it. Exactly. He yeah. does. He. Do, he wants to admit. He's like, why aren't? Why won't you play with me? Mm -hmm. What's so great about the shower curtain? Yeah. Yeah. What, yeah. Come on. Come out of the bathroom. <laughs> and he just looks at her like the door is open. And just like I love it in the morning because I know she's coming because he goes right to the little where the hinges are uh -huh. in the door and looks through like the little hinge spot. <laughs> and then there she is, disgusted. Disgusted that he got in the bathroom before her. Uh -huh. <laughs> uh, all right, that's what kiddo kiddo parents. That's what, Sorry. That's what kiddo, it's like. Kiddo, kiddo yeah. parents. They, which is about the extent of parenting that we'll be able to do. Yep, unless yeah. somebody drops some. If somebody dropped one off at the front child. door. Yeah. Yeah. Until we could find it at home. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, but I dress it up. <laughs> How do you like living with me? Ex exclusively awesome yeah we live together mm -hmm. yeah we do yeah i thought that we i would in. get have my moments where i was like oh it's sunday like you need to go somewhere mm -hmm. for hours instead you just go somewhere i don't go where do you go you're tanning i'm gonna go Shh. <laughs> i'm brown don't you worry about it naturally <laughs> <I'm>, <laughs> i go incubate i'm just burned i go incubate <laughs> you i go enhance you my brownness grocery shopping <laughs> Yeah, today because yeah. I had to. No, I, I'm playing. To make you, you dinner. No, be... like I like you're just really easy yeah. to live with. You're sweet. We're such good balances for each other. Yes, mm -hmm. I love coming home to you. I love coming home to you. I don't want to turn my my semi comedy podcast into a love fest, but I do love coming mm -hmm. home to you. I wonder why. Mm -hmm. I had a BJ's card. You did get a BJ's card. Yeah. I'm a household member. <laughs> yeah, yeah. <laughs> so exciting. Uh huh. It has more than one meeting, folks. Excuse me. <laughs> Um, yeah. No, living with you is easy. It's really cute. I'm glad that you you were now a resident. Mm -hmm. of yeah, where I'm you a work. Portsmouth resident. You saved some gas money. Yeah, I noticed. Um, <laughs> I noticed that uh, I fill my tank about once a paycheck now, mm -hmm. instead of two or three times. I think that before, when I was living in Fremont, excuse me, uh, and commuting, you know, a few times a week over there and back to here, uh, I think that I, I filled it like twice and. Like, by the time payday came up, I was, like, right on the edge of needing mm. gas, which mm -hmm. I don't like to be. Yeah. So, but yeah, yeah, yeah. One, one, one tank of fuel per paycheck now. And you get to come home for, like, lunch? I get and... to be with you. That's well, the I most know. important part to me. I, I love know. you. And I, I love, love you, too. I love being more. around you. and More. No, not more. I get it out there uh, first. No. Yeah. No, it's fun. And it's fun, like, I don't know, because it just feels like we're just forever dating, which is, like, it does feel absolutely like that. fine. I feel like Because even so though we live times, together, we yeah. still go out. Like, we went to Haunted Overload last weekend. Mm -hmm. That was a date. Mm -hmm. And then we made a date. a date to go to BJ's yeah. tomorrow, tomorrow night. night. Yeah, we and where's the other thing I want to do? We've been going to bars. We've been ho bar hopping Bar Portsmouth. hopping, yeah. We've been yeah. Uh, working our... I mean, there's got to be a hundred bars in Portsmouth, New Hampshire. Mm -hmm. And, um, I mean, that includes all of, like, the little, like, 99 and Applebee's mm -hmm. and Buffalo Wild Wings and all those places. So that includes all that stuff. And we're including those. And what have we hit so far? Three? Three four? or four of them. Yeah. But it's like not even that. Like everything's fun with you. Like, I don't know. Like mm -hmm. just getting home to like make dinner and stuff like that. Like we just sit and talk and shoot the breeze about our days. And yeah. we have, we both have cool jobs where it's like, we do have very okay, there's always going to be something different that happens every day on the job for me yeah. and something different that happens. And then sometimes... Now, because, I mean, you always worked in Portsmouth, but sometimes mm -hmm. our conversations cross. Yes. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> Where I'll be like, hey, do you know this person? Oh, I know that person. Oh, very well. Mm -hmm. <laughs> yes, I do. Yeah. And now people will uh -huh. say things, oh, like you're a celebrity now, too, apparently. <laughs> yeah. Oh, yeah. yeah. Okay. That was fun. I made mm -hmm. breakfast for dinner on, what was it, Friday night? It must have mm -hmm. been Friday night. I made so breakfast good. for dinner. Oh, my God. You make the best bacon. I don't even know how to describe it. It's like sometimes people are like, oh, yeah. Yeah, like my bacon like sort of like soft and then some people like their bacon crispy but you get the bacon like right in the middle of both those and i'm not kidding like i've had bacon my whole life i'm like 45 and i just can't explain like just how 
freaking perfect. Like, <laughs> your bacon is. Like, I remember the first time you made me bacon. I'm like, oh, my God. And it was, like, consistent. So I was like, all right, this is, like, one piece that's perfect. Like, okay. You know? And then I had another piece. I'm like, oh, my God. And then it's, like, because it's, like, right in the middle of being soft and crispy. Mm-hmm. So I can break it up and put it on my salad. But mm-hmm. you, it's just so good, babe. Thank you. Oh, I appreciate that. I don't know how to. But people that love bacon. Coming from someone who I absolutely love your cooking. That, ma- you. that means a lot. Yeah. And that's something I'm not going to make for you now because that's you make fine. it perfectly. That's fine. I did something like that also fairly recently. Uh, let's not get away from the uh, celebrity. Oh, yeah. Celebrity. So I made breakfast for dinner. Or yeah, I made <laughs> breakfast for dinner. And then the next day, I went to Whole Foods to get a coffee, and this woman came up. I don't know who it was. I don't suppose they messaged you. No, no, not this time. I don't know who it was, but Mm -hmm. they came up. And it was someone that worked at Whole Foods, so they're on one side of the counter, and I'm on the other getting my coffee. This woman came up, and she was like, hey, uh, excuse me. I just want to say, uh, breakfast for dinner looked really good last night. <laughs> <laughs> I love that so much. Uh-huh. <laughs> I love I was people. Like, it's I, so I, cute. I, I just, it just make your day. Oh, yeah, big time. And then I, I went it. and got you a coffee. Yeah. And this girl behind the counter was like, hey, this might sound weird, but are you with Rochelle? <laughs> <laughs> and I laughed. And You're I like, said, explain yep. with. I said, yep, that's that's my mate. And she was like, oh my God, you guys are so cute on Facebook. I love watching you guys. And we talked about it just like last week. That's that like, just a very sp- like the snippet. Stuff, like, it's yeah. one thing when you look at other, I don't know. I don't want to diminish how happy other couples are. Yeah. I'm sure you're yeah. very happy. You're very but happy. when but when you but when I see a lot of people on Facebook or Instagram that are posting pictures with their significant other, I imagine there's a lot of surface level stuff there where it's like Come here, baby. Where it's like, eh, I mean, you know, that's great. You smiled for the camera once. I was in a relationship like that where it was like, mm-hmm. we'll smile for the camera, but we're we're not genuinely feeling like this. No, and I feel like <laughs> there's something too you can tell with people. It's, it, I always say like, they, if you smile with your eyes or something, but it mm-hmm. is like, it's just a snippet of like how we are, but we're very... Yeah, but we don't like, what we share on Facebook is not even, I mean, if people could hear the conversations... <laughs> That we really have. Like just now he's in the shower. and Yeah. The back and forth. The passionate discussions. Mm-hmm. Which are few and far between. You know what? We're getting really good at not arguing. No. Yeah. We don't argue. No. Or defensiveness and stuff. Yeah. And just like talking like buddies. Like it's very. It's. I it's remember cool. it earlier what that text was about way back in the beginning ah, of October. All right. Did you. Did you happen to think about it at all? No. I just happen to remember. No. It was um, the night that we came home when my battery died, and uh, and I didn't make a salad. Oh my god! <laughs> oh, I remember with that. No, because I went and got the pizza that uh-huh. you made. It. You just minimalized that so much. You were no, such a brat. That doesn't sound like tell me. the whole story. Your battery died. I, my battery I died freaking, at work. You were and, supposed to come home with pizza. Right. I ordered the pizza. Got the pizza. <laughs> went and sat with you in your car until Triple A got there. Uh huh. Came home. You took the pizza. Went home. I came home. Everything's still in the box. Uh huh. And you went upstairs and like got changed and put your slippers on. I'm like, why the f? Because I had to go to the store too. Mm-hmm. And I'm like, well, what the heck? Like I just like did all this stuff and then I come home. Everything now. I gotta. I'm expected to pull everything out and make everything. Uh huh. That's where my mind was at. And then, <laughs> that's where your mind was at in the moment. That's where my mind that, was at in the moment. And but then it made we talked me, about it. Yeah, so we talked about the timing. The timing, yeah. It was like, I had like five minutes I, to get home. It was home. like, I got here like three minutes before you. You know, because in all honesty, it's like, because, you know, I'm a superstar. But, but I got to say it, like, I, I can make things happen in two seconds. The beauty that, of this. Right when people can't. Of this non, because it wasn't even a real passionate discussion. No. Like, I was just like, I'm not hungry anymore. I'm going to bed. And, and I was like, and you need you, to pull your pants down. You came upstairs and you were like. You were like, I really just want to talk to you, and I want to just sit on the couch. And I was like, if I go sit on the couch with you right now, will that make things better? <laughs> yes, it will. Okay, fine. <laughs> and then I came downstairs to sit on the couch, and then you talked to me some more, but you were standing and I was sitting. And then I was like, has it occurred to you that maybe I just need a hug? <gasps> oh, good God. <laughs> and, then, mm-hmm, mm-hmm. and then you called me a brat. 
And then you gave me a hug. Because he used said, my words against me. And then everything was better. Yeah, that was like a good Hey, it, sometimes one of us just like needs a That was like an interrogation. Or somebody needs to pull their pants down. Or I could have just pulled my pants down. That's yeah, and I would be like, what's past. going on here? And then I'm going to hang out. That has, <laughs> that has worked in the People, past. People, <laughs> like, we have our bait rules. We might, somebody actually said, I think, that we should hold a class. Kimmy did. Kimmy's mm-hmm. like, you should hold a class. <laughs> that would be... be the retirement job. No. How to have successful relationships. Mateships. Mateships. Yeah, how to have successful. All right. But stop talking about us. Like, what's in our list? How about freaking Halloween and how many trick or treaters did we get? We had the best candy. I always have this serious thing about getting good candy because mm-hmm. I don't want to get egged. You know what I mean? Mm-hmm. So I'm like, I'm gonna splurge on the Reese cups and the M and M's and the almond joys. Like, I'm sorry for these allergic nut people, but then I got some nerds for our you know gluten free uh-huh. folks and yeah. Yep, that was very nice. Yeah, so we had some really, they were really polite, except for the one person that brought a snake. Yeah, I didn't see and that. And I'm glad thankfully. you didn't answer the door because you would have lost it. I would have been like, Raphael, mm-hmm. go get this motherfucker. Mm-hmm. Um, I'm like, is that a bow or a python? And what's I heard its you name? Say is that, that a boy or a girl? I heard you say, is that, a, <laughs> is that a, I think I heard you say, is that a boa? And then you said, or is it a python or is there a difference? I was trying to signal to you, like, honey. I was trying to fuck, signal. Fuck, there's a real snake at the door. I was door. trying to signal, like, don't come to the door. Uh-huh. You're not going to like this yeah. very much. Luckily, I was watching yeah. Monster Squad while that was happening. Great movie. It was good. But, oh, and so anyway, costumes, non-costumes. Uh, yeah. At which point do you stop trick-or-treating? Yeah, do right. You? I stopped trick-or-treating when I stopped wearing costumes. How about, Apparently, oh, okay. so that has not just, pl- yeah. That hasn't applied over the board because I leaned out. There were two kids that showed up today. They must have been, what, 15, 16? It's like, you're not even trying. And they were just wearing, they're dressed like I am right now, a polo shirt and, and, and a pair of basketball shorts. I used to love it with the pillowcases and oh, I used to be like, go for it. What is that? You know, I was saying. Now you're just walking right. around getting candy. Yeah. Years ago, I would have called him out on it. But you're going to grow. Just, you're yeah, gonna, no, you're I would have. Enjoy your first car. It's going to be a van, a panel van with no windows. It right. says free candy on yeah. the side. I don't, maybe. Yeah. But they were full. They were full. And normally I would have called them out on it, but I was like, okay, after COVID. And mm-hmm. um, I only, I didn't even go through a whole bag of candy this year. Right. I had, you know me. I yeah, got, I I'm saw always, kids walk yeah. right by our place. Mm-hmm. I had the, the witch myself, up there and the light on. I would have loved it if I was, if I, uh, you know, when I was a kid to go trick or treating right. in a neighborhood like this. I mean, there's going to be uh, like 200 units in mm-hmm. this area. But yeah. And you can just go door to door, trick or treat and get, and get it all in one shot. It'd be done in, in half an hour. But I think one thing that happened this year was they changed the times from three to six. Yeah. I think that was an issue. Yeah. What do they usually? Usually it's like, I don't know, like four to seven or yeah. something. So yeah. I think. For people that work on Saturdays, like that want to take their kids, I think that might have been a little bit of an issue. Yeah. But I think people are trying to be safe. Yeah, of trying course. To be safe. Safety is paramount. In the vaccinations. Yeah. What else do we have on our list? We had a shitload because every time we talk about something, I go, put it on your list. I know you do. Um, I wanted to talk about planet drunkness. Yes. Real, real quick. I just wanted to tell those yes. two stories. One that I forgot to tell you, actually. Um, so the first one was last weekend. This guy. I'm like in the locker room. I was going to meet you to have a beer. <laughs> You're my hero. So I'm like in the locker room getting changed. And then I see this guy and he like, he opened one locker and he goes, oh, that's not my locker. And then he shut it. And I was like, okay, whatever. And I keep getting changed. And then he opens another locker and then he opens a third locker. So now I start getting changed a little faster. Did he look like he went to the gym or? He was wearing gym attire. He didn't look like he did much there. <laughs> He was wearing like a t-shirt that said like Iron Fitness or something like that. American Iron maybe. I don't know. Pick it up at Walmart. Probably. Mm-hmm. And then uh, and then the more that I watched this guy, and there was a couple other people in the locker room too at the same time. The more that I watched this guy, he's like stumbling around. He's talking to himself. Then he starts going through every locker. Just uh. opening up every locker. Yeah. Every locker that doesn't have a lock on it. He's opening all of them. He'd yeah. reach inside. He'd reach his hand around. So it was like pretty there. obvious it wasn't like oh, yeah. he was mistaken about whose locker oh, was yeah. his. Oh, yeah. yeah. And then eventually he leaves the lock. Or I'm sorry. I fucking start running through getting dressed. I'm like probably still wet underneath my clothes. Just getting dressed as fast the, as from possible. From the aftermath. Yeah, from the aftermath. So I ran. <laughs> so so I go out to the front desk and I was like, hey, there's a guy in there. He is fucking hammered off his ass. He's going through everyone's locker. Mm-hmm. And they were like, is he wearing a gray t-shirt and red sneakers? I was like, that's him. They were like, yeah, we know the guy. 
And then, they, like, one guy went to the locker room. I don't know what to do what, but he tells right. the other guy to call Portsmouth non-emergency. Right. So I'm sure he was probably just going to go to the locker room and just watch this guy while he, you know, goes through yeah. lockers. Yeah. And make sure that he does, because I'm sure they have some sort of policy, like, don't fucking touch people. Right, right. So, there was that guy. Uh, this was, so, last night I realized, fucking Saturdays, because that was last Saturday yeah. afternoon. Saturdays, after work, gym, off the table. I'm not, I, I've never had a good experience. A month and a half ago, I do want to interject and talk about how I try to have a safety talk with you about I know. Things. Yeah, I put a lock on my locker. Mm-hmm. Yeah, uh, I remember that. I know. Because I was, I was talking to, I to you and I said, mm-hmm. um, do you have a lock for your locker? Mm-hmm. Where do you put your things? I just put them in the locker. Do you have a lock? No, I don't. And I'm like, okay, let me tell you a story <laughs> about how people like to come in and say they're getting a gym membership and mm-hmm. then they go through the locker rooms, check it out, and they steal things out of lockers and... Mm-hmm. So, so PSA, I, everyone, put a freaking lock on your locker, please. Lock your car doors, wear your seatbelt, all those things. Uh huh. So I so went. I don't have to do reports later. I went like a month and a half ago, and there's these high school kids. But I thought it was really good that you like told went, them. went and told the yeah, fantastic. you're my hero. <laughs> <laughs> right, go ahead. Um, there was these like high school kids last month when I went, and, mm-hmm. and they were like, they weren't even working out. They're just sitting there talking to each other on their phone, but they're tying up use of equipment which was bothering me and then yesterday i went before i went to go meet you for drinks mm-hmm. yesterday i go to the gym i go to take a shower and this guy like i guess i could understand it if you show up to the gym and you're like fuck i forgot my headphones right okay well you know what just about everyone else on the floor has headphones so it's probably okay if i play my music through my phone oh no on the floor. Oh no. Which is what he was doing. Oh no. So out on the floor he's just playing his music through his phone while he works out. Oh that's like so against etiquette. It gets even worse rules? though. Are there against rules? I don't like think does it's it say the like rules. you can't oh and they don't really enforce that. How was the music? It was bad. Oh it was bad. It was like Spanish music and he wasn't even Spanish. No 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 it wasn't bad because it was Spanish music. It was Spanish music. <laughs> was it Daddy Yankee? It oh, was okay. Span it was like Bama. It was like, it was total Spanish music. I'm sorry, how was that? Oh, no. <laughs> that sounds like hymns. It was Spanish music. It sounds like monk hymns. Oh, okay. Um, <laughs> <Hey>, mariachi. <laughs> but he wasn't even, he was super white, which I get like. He could be like. I understand, you know. He could be albino. He, yeah, yeah. But either way. Then he comes to the locker room and continues to play his music in the locker room. Then he went to the shower and took his phone with him to the shower and let his music play while he takes a shower. And I was in the shower at the same time and I was like, if this motherfucker is still here when I get out, I am going to just look up on Amazon, pipe and drum bagpipe team, (laughs) and I am going to blast the bagpipes while while I get dressed over his (laughs) Spanish music. And I'm just going to, every time oh, he Danny looks over, I'm, I'm going to look back at him and be like, why would you think that the rest of us want to listen to your music? What what it may, what is the... That's some very Viking shit right there. You just pulled, yeah. like, I'm going to get the bagpipes mm-hmm. on you. Mm-hmm. Like, I'm some Danny boy. That's what I was going to do. Mm-hmm. Yep. I might yeah. run listening to bagpipes shit. all morning. <laughs> 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 What you listen to? Pipes, and drums. Uh huh. Pipes. Don't and worry drums. about it. Yeah. Legit. Yeah, they can they can make you run faster. I think it. So can cadences. Um, look at these and tell me which one you want to talk about next. Ooh, I know. Um, yeah. This one. Yes. So we've been watching Top Chef for like a year. <laughs> oh, I have a good challenge too. A Top Chef challenge. Okay. All right, go ahead. Okay, so we've decided that we should be the Top Chef judges. Mm-hmm. Absolutely. Because these judges like are crushing it, we've been crushing it. Yeah, I, we always call who yeah. they're gonna who they're gonna make yeah. go home anyways. Mm-hmm. Yeah, sorry, there've been Stephanie. a couple of surprises once mm-hmm. in a while, but yeah, for the a, most that's part, a good chicken moose. But yeah. you're really riding, uh, you know, Shirley's tail, you know. Yeah, big time. Yeah, yeah, but well, I don't. This is the worst part about doing like put that in the notes. Is that I know that we had something about us being Top Chef judges. I just don't remember what it was. Oh, we were talking about being top chef. What do you mean? Like why we make good ones? Yeah. Um, because we were calling everything. We were killing it. Yeah. Yeah. But we'd be better than Padma and Tom because you know. 
I think we'd be way more honest and to the point. Mm-hmm. And we wear better clothes. Yes, we definitely wear yeah, better we clothes. Yeah, we have better personalities. Way better personalities. Yeah, like, get your shit and get your chump. Yeah. Get out of here. Yeah. Beat it. Scram. No weird sexual innuendo. No, nothing like that. Yeah. No. Padma was really... There's a whole fucking news article about that Padma uh, and Rob Gronkowski <laughs> thing from when that episode aired. Of everyone being like, what the fuck was that about? She's a little predatory all in that she's moment. Being, uh, yeah. She was being highly sexualized. I like Gail. I, Gail's just like, I'm a straight up slut. Gail uh-huh. just tell you. Like, mm-hmm. you know? But yeah, she gets like uncomfortable and awkward. Yeah. You know? And then, oh, I know what it was. She was getting like really close to them, remember? Because yeah. the closer, like, it went towards like the less um, chef's left. Oh, yeah. Remember? She, gets she was closer getting, and she was getting closer. emotionally yeah, attached. She gets emotionally attached. We're like, we're, not, we're cutting everybody off. Yeah, we're good. I don't know. You didn't make good food. You got to go. You could, yeah, you got to go. Peace See out. ya. Bye. Yeah. And then we started talking about, like, what if it was. Why did we get into the prison mode? I don't know. But, but we I, did I get thought, into Top I, Chef what Prison. I thought, what I thought would be cool was a new show, mm-hmm. a whole new show called Top Chef Prison. Was that what you thought would be cool? Or yes. Was it something I came up with? I don't think, I'm pretty sure it was me that came so up I don't with know, it. Because I worked in prison. I, I know you worked in prison. I think maybe you came up with it. I think I did. And then I had like a lot of like real and life you had uh, a lot, experience you with had a, in there. a lot to add to it. But I'm pretty sure that I came Like up we're with like going to take inmates from different prisons. Yes. And have them. Yeah, we're going to get 12 inmates from 12 mm-hmm. different prisons. Yeah. And then they're going to, you know, it'll be like the season will be like at a popular prison. So like. Right. Like Top Chef. Top San prison Quentin. chef San Quentin. Yeah. And and then they, they do all and but you have like quick fire challenges, like make root, boy, root beer in the toilet or something. <laughs> the tooch. <laughs> makes the best like alcohol in the toilet. Or like what do you use for you have to use like um make your own utensils. Yeah, you have to do So you, you can could like do like use, a shank or something? Yeah, you can only use the stuff that they ha that like actual prisoners are allowed right. to have in the right. kitchen. And then you also get to have, you know, what kind of all yeah, so you can like tools. melt down a toothbrush and put like a yeah. razor in there if you need to like do sashimi or uh-huh. something. Yeah. <laughs> but sashimi <laughs> would be like goldfish or something. Uh-huh. <laughs> something awful. Uh huh. And then you and could then elu- be- use like an electric chair to like. Yeah, to fry, fry stuff. Some, yeah, to fry fry <laughs> up some stuff. Uh huh. Now you have to kill this pig. Can we hang it with bed sheets? Oh no! Oh, no. <laughs> <laughs> Some of the best chefs, though. Uh huh. Padma, she wouldn't survive. Yeah, no, no. Well, no. That's the thing is that the she- the, the judges wouldn't be us. For no, sure. they wouldn't be. And then every but, like inmate would like, have to have like their like, like JPBO a... with them. Oh, you know, is the parole board? We're gonna be the judges. Yes. Yeah. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Parole board is the judges. Yeah. Yeah. That's legit, though. There's some good food in prison. I don't know. I, oh, my God. I remember one time I went through, and I used to get so when I worked at Leavenworth Prison, like I would sometimes go and get the food mm-hmm. for like all the other officers or guards or. You know, we we were called like uh, specialists in there because uh-huh. officers is something different in the army. Yeah. But I remember going to the chow hall one time and like, getting like the food to go or whatever, and I was like, "Hey, I'll take the take the grits." And he's like, "You don't want the grits, Miss Jones." I'm like, "Excuse me." I'm like, "No, I want the grits. I definitely want." He's like, "You don't want the grits." I'm like, "You know what? You can shit my corned beef. You can piss my coffee, but don't be jizzing in my grits. <laughs> don't be jizzing in my grits." <laughs> but he was trying to save me because somebody had done something naughty to the grits. Oh no! Yeah, because they used to do stuff like that. Like uh-uh. they piss in the coffee, and you're sending it down the tier, and the poor inmates that were locked up in the special housing unit in the shoe would be like, <laughs> uh, <laughs> "You're like, uh, oh no, what happened?" Uh-uh. Mm-hmm. They put little notes in the. It's almost like that show Oz, but they put like little notes in the. Um, and somebody's sandwich that they knew was going to, you know, somebody would have a special meal. And, yeah. oh, yeah, they'd be putting their little death hits and stuff on people. It was crazy. I watched a little bit of yeah. Oz, so I know something about yeah. prisons. There's, like, one where they crushed glass and fed it to somebody over a period of time, so it cut the inside oh, out. Oh, shit. Mm-hmm. Damn. Yeah, it was very uh, interesting. Yeah, so, but, uh, you know, but it was funny, too, because I remember one time, like, we would have chicken. They're like, that's not chicken, that's pigeon. I'm like, it's not pigeon. And they were like, showed me the boxes that they came uh-huh. in as pigeon. Uh-huh. Like, they grow, you know, like, obviously not ones off the roofs, but they would grow, like, these farm-raised fucking pigeons. Interesting. And, yeah, they're almost like almost like the little rotisserie ones you get at the store. Like, they yeah, grow, yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah. It was very interesting, but they were, they were good cooks, usually. But I was very appreciative that day. I think I stopped eating at the prison that day. My um, prisoners in Iraq were not quite as... Um, they were not quite as, uh, what's the word I'm looking for? Protective? Uh, uh, no, uh, not the, they weren't that either, but they weren't quite as, uh, they didn't have that ingenuity 
of of making certain things. Um, the only the, the what they were really good at though is escaping. Oh gosh, <laughs> they were very good. It didn't at... sound like they had much to escape from. You just had like fences or some shit, didn't you? Or we did. We had a big, mm-hmm. big tall fence, and they would tunnel. And they were very good at tunneling. Yeah. Very good at tunneling. They'd get like, you would see these tunnels. We'd catch them sometimes. Like one of them one time, they were tunneling and they'd been working at it for a few weeks. I actually felt kind of bad. With what? Like what they have? I know. They're you fucking be spoons. Up there. Oh, yeah. Yeah. Spoons. That makes sense. Yeah. Yeah. They'd, they'd just fill a spoon mm-hmm. and they'd shove it into someone's sock. Yeah. And then that guy would go out and he'd just dump his sock yeah. out. And Yeah. So, I mean, it took a long time, but they were down there and they, and we'd also give them like building supplies. And so one would come in and be like, Hey, you know, my bed is broken. I need a two by four. <laughs> here, yeah, sure. Yeah, yeah here you, you go. Gotta go kill vampires. Here you go. Yep. Here's the two yeah. by four. And then they'd take the two by four and they were using these things to brace the walls Jesus. in their tunnel. Mm-hmm. And like they worked at one of them for weeks mm-hmm. and a dump truck drove over yeah. the roof, you know, drove over where they had tunneled underneath our road. And the road is just a dirt road. Right. And and it caved in. I mean, there was no one down there, which is very fortunate. But it caved in. But we were like, well, no shit. Where are you going? <laughs> we would be like, it's so funny because I still, I always tell people, I'm like, I've been a cop for 19 years. I still don't have as good stories as I do from like working in the prison and stuff. Because I remember. Wait, can I have a beer? Yeah. But at the um, Leavenworth. It used to be that, like, literally, and people say, you're welcome. Because remember, we were cleaning out the closet, and I'm like, oh, I found my uh-huh. inmate handbook. Uh-huh. It's like an right. original. Yes. So now the Leavenworth that I worked at has been demolished, and now there's, like, a new, like, 500-person, you know, cell. So the castle's gone. But um, The last castle? The last castle. But in the cells, there was, like, three little outlets, and those were different mm-hmm. radio stations. So yeah. when I worked there, it was that inmates couldn't listen to music and things like that or the tv or anything without headphones and you know because yeah. it was distracting to yeah um the staff and so i remember one time i was going to do like a cell search and you know um i went to this one person's cell and i'm like where am i hearing this music from and he had taken like his headphones and split the wires and put them into cans like soup cans and oh, cleaned okay. out yeah and it was like made speakers mm-hmm. and they were surround sound. I'm like, this is cool shit, but you yeah. cannot have it, <laughs> you know? <laughs> yeah, you can't have it. <laughs> but there is everything so creative. Like some of the best artists, like smartest, you know, it's just it is funny very how interesting. I'm like, you're you on that side it. and I'm on this side. And, you know, you always like frustrated. Like you could take all that creativity and put it here. But I, I don't know. It's, sometimes it's hard. It's like, yeah, I'd like to stab somebody too, but I'm not going to. Like there's a difference. You get so mad, you're like, I'll kill you. But you just don't do it. You know? I've always thought it was interesting how creative you can get when you're in captivity. And I mean, like, right. captivity really just can be like, like basic training was mm-hmm. a form of captivity. Oh, yeah, because you hide your pokey mm-hmm. snacks and everything, like Excuse in the me. ceilings. And I always talk yeah. about that when I talk about safety training. I'm like, yeah, you can push these ceilings right up because mm-hmm. that's where we used to hide our shit. Mm-hmm. Like, or even like the mates, like with toilets, hiding things in the toilets. Like, that's where we hit our... Our uh, contraband. Mm-hmm. My friend Josh asked what you think of the movie Shawshank Redemption. I love that movie. I can't say I've seen it. Yeah, it's so... Oh, it's really good. That's a good yeah. one. That one, um, there's a movie called uh, Blood In, Blood Out uh-huh. that was really similar to like Prison Experience. I mean, it's a little bit cheesy, but it was good. American Me. But those were like the types like that looked like the prison that I worked in. Like The Last Castle wasn't accurate you know yeah. but yeah the like scenery was accurate yeah. you know but it was it was very interesting especially the military prison because inmates um they segregated ranking inmates so like you know like captains and ranking officers like from the regular population because they didn't want them mixing in just like what happened in the last castle mm-hmm, yeah. they didn't want that to happen yeah so they segregated like the officer inmates and you know, but I mean, it was weird working there because they had all been in basic training with you. So right. it wasn't like when I went to go work at the county corrections, you know, it's like you all had that. They had the basic knowledge that you had. Yeah. And then they had more information and more knowledge from you because they had been inmates than you had working in the prison. And it was just it's kind of awkward, you know, yeah. it, was, it was weird, like, you know, being a private and being in charge of a brigadier general. Like that shit's not supposed to happen right. in the yeah. army. So yeah. even though, you know, it's just that was kind of awkward, but death sentence, working death row was very interesting. You know, being 19 and, and working in, in that environment was crazy. Mm-hmm. And some of those guys were funny because it's not funny, haha, but they'd be like, oh, yeah, you know, I'm watching my weight. And I'm like, what? Like, <laughs> you know, but they had a life, mm-hmm. you know, it's it's very uh, interesting. You learn a lot about yourself. 
Yeah, I bet. You walk on the tier and they know exactly what mood you're in or what soap you used or, you know, and it's it's interesting. If you can survive and get along with people and not have any weapons or those things, it makes being a police officer much easier. Yeah. But Shawshank, we're going to have to watch that. I can't believe you've never seen that. No, well, there's a lot so of movies good. that we have to watch. Yeah, that's a good prison movie. I yeah. can't believe you haven't seen Spider-Man. Well, I have seen many Spider-Mans, but not... Not the good ones. Okay. <laughs> what movie didn't you see that i just talked to you about today too it wasn't monster squad but you uh, hadn't seen monster squad or uh, something else um, i don't know how do you think you'd do in prison like what if you got locked up and you had to be in prison like i think, I think now like okay. with your working out i think you'd be okay i think i'd be okay i don't yeah. i don't I'm not worried about the rape because i feel like that might be a little bit um I feel like maybe that's a little overblown of how often that might happen. Maybe you know that better than me. I'm gonna, I'm just gonna, I don't want to talk about that stuff. Okay. <laughs> Either way, I think I'd do okay because I think that there's a structure there. Yeah. And, you know, it'd be like, okay, this is the time that you have to go to bed. Right. This is the time you oh, have to yeah, wake you up. Oh, yeah, like that, yeah. This is the time that breakfast, lunch, and dinner is. This, this is what you're allowed to do at this time of day. You know, like, I feel like I'd do all right with that amount of structure i right. certainly have zero interest in doing anything that ever lands me there <sighs> excuse me but i've heard of people that are like right. like they go to prison get into that routine structure of this 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 this, and then they get out and they're like i need to go back right yeah they get institutionalized yes. you know yeah. we used to have our it's so funny because i went to like strafford and it's been like 20 years since i worked there and we went on a tour for like some training that i was doing it was a completely new prison or completely new jail. And I just remember I was getting ready to leave and somebody was mopping. He's like, is that Jonesy? I'm like, how about <laughs> I didn't get to see who it was, but I was just like, oh, man, because we would. We'd have our like freaking vibes like, hey, welcome home, yeah. you know. But I think, you know, that's, that's something about society, too, that you're more comfortable. And, and honestly, like I felt like working in prison at the time, you know, when I was in the military, Prison made way more sense because you knew what the rules were. Like, you yeah. knew what would happen to you if you blew them, you know? Yeah. And also, like, just like anything else, like, that kind of changes. Like, county jail was a little bit different. Long-term prison is different with their rules. And then you have county jail because you have, like, pretrial. So somebody just, like, you know, stabbed somebody or something and they're in there. And then you had, like, federal inmates that we were housing, like, from, you know, the Winter Hill gang and, the you know, like, some of that, like, from that. And it's just, like, you put them in a cell together and that yeah. shit's not mixing. Yeah. Like, you have... You know, somebody who's the head of the mafia in right. here with like this, you know, 21 year old kid that, you know, flipped out and said, and this kid's not making his bed. And then yeah. the, you know, the mafia guy's coming to me going, hey, you know, I'm going to, I'm going to hurt this kid if he doesn't like stay. <laughs> He's a big, you know, he's a big, he's got to <laughs> clean it up. Miss jo Jones, you got to tell him. I'm like, I'll tell him. Let me, let me talk to him. I'm like, do you have any fucking idea who you're rooming with <laughs> he's gonna show you a picture of your kids on the playground <laughs> clean your shit <laughs> you know or i don't know I mean, loki, you have <laughs> so loki had a great line in um uh the first avengers movie mm -hmm. where he says uh freedom is a great illusion mm -hmm. and you yearn to be subjugated right um, we all have to answer to somebody yeah mm -hmm. which i think is it's a very interesting mm -hmm. line because i think like, so like, I love freedom. Yeah. I love, I love being able to go wherever I want to go. Right. And I don't want to be told that I have to be somewhere. Right. Like I want the choice of, of waking up tomorrow morning to go to the gym. Right. I don't want to be told that I have to be, right. go to the gym. Right. So, which is a, I don't know. It's an odd thing because it's like that would be exactly what prison is. You're being told, and I feel like I do well in that environment. Yeah. But it's not something I mean, that I want. And it's want. actually, there's a lot of freedom to that environment, too. If you're like, hey, like, I don't want to fucking get up and go to breakfast. And mm -hmm. it's like, you can stay in your cell. Like, mm -hmm. just stay alive. Like, you know what I yeah. mean? So there actually, like, is, there's actually a lot of, like, people always like, oh, people are locked up the whole time. No, you're not. Like, you're out, depending on, like, your status, you know, maximum, minimum, medium, you know, whatever. Each place is different, you know. But it's like, they are. You are out walking around. You have a life. Like, you're going to the library. You're getting a degree. Like, it's... Yeah bonkers you know like in a not a terrible way because how else are you gonna rehabilitate people back into society right but yeah. in our life like we still have to answer like to somebody you like you have to pay rent like you have to make your car payment like yeah. you go to the gym but what are the gym rules what were the gym rules in covid like you have to right. wear a mask like 
wipe this down. Don't drop weights or grunt, and you or you can't work out here. Yeah, right. So it's yeah. like sometimes when... I drop weights and grunt all the time. <laughs> but you know what I mean? Like you have to answer to something. You're in a relationship. Like uh-huh. you have to. Yes, I, I can't just go naked to like I no, want. You, you know, cannot. <laughs> absolutely not. But it's like it's it not is it naked. is like an illusion. You yeah. know, it's like hey, I want this. Okay, well you have to buy it or the yeah. restaurant. Like. You know, it's like you have to, there's an expectation of behavior. And if you don't, there's a societal, you know, uh, rule, you yeah. know, with certain things. So it, it's interesting about how free are you really? Yeah. You know, we're slaves to our phones. like. Yes, we are. And slaves to money. And the money. Yeah. yeah. yeah just, that's why oh, I like COVID a little bit, though, because I feel like there's trade there. It's like we're bringing back like, hey, you have some flour? Okay, what's mm-hmm. up? Mm-hmm. What you got? What you got? got like four sticks of butter over here? I do. Yeah, you know, like I, 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 another thing that I don't invite into my life is any sort of post-apocalyptic thing. Yeah. But I do think that it'd be cool to do like trades. Like, oh, we crush it. It would be cool to like go to Market Basket mm-hmm. and be like, okay, I want this steak. I have a bottle of shampoo. Mm-hmm. We're fine. What do you say? We're fine. You <laughs> stick with me and we're fine. Yeah, we're definitely fine. <laughs> I'm not a hoarder, but I am a supplier. Uh-huh. Yes. I was thinking the other day, you're like, I had to get supplies for my gym bag. And I'm thinking, we have like three bottles of body wash. And did you look in the closet? I don't think I need body wash yet. Oh, okay, I wanted cool. to get something. I wanted to get shampoo and conditioner. Oh, yeah. There was like an actual shampoo and conditioner. Because oh, okay. I'm trying to take. I have two. And trying to take better care of my hair. We have that. Like I have one of each of your. The Pantene that you like. Oh. Like one's a shampoo and okay. one's a conditioner. Oh, I didn't know that. Yeah, I do. Like I, I bought that I guess, a while ago. I guess I won't be buying guess, shampoo yeah, for it. I do. I do. Because I don't like it. I don't like running out of things. Right. Which is great. I love that about you. Mm-hmm. So when COVID happened, like, wasn't uh-huh. a big deal for me. Except uh-huh. that I did Except my sister. So, like, the paper towel thing. Like, uh-huh. I did have my one moment where I was trying to hoard a lot of things for my sister. Because she likes the wipes. Yeah. You know? And the Clorox wipes. And so I had a bunch from, like, work and everything. And then she likes those, like, little uh, wet ones or whatever that shit is. Yeah. And I never use them, so all the ones that I had from like Christmas and my stocking, like I pulled all that stuff out and I literally like put this display on and took a picture and sent it to her. But then like you know how I am about I have a thing about paper towels. I like the bounty full, full sheet size. Full paper sheet. towels. And the only other generic Not brand the size. It's fuck select size. <laughs> Dude, I did select a size tonight. I was like, I Hey, you, you want did. a fucking select size? And I just like took uh, a piece yeah, of paper towel and I it. fucking ripped it in half. It was ridiculous. Uh-huh. Could you imagine like cleaning up cat puke with fucking select size? I'd be out of my mind. <laughs> Stupid. <laughs> I'm dumb. It's like just, just cut them. Um, but the big sheets and like there's like a target brand that I love. That's like very similar. But anyway, so Erica, you know, my sister, she likes to um, select the size. And I'm like, uh-huh. all right, well, they couldn't find anything in Massachusetts. So I went to uh, Market Basket one day and I thought it was like a typo. And I remember and I look and it was like no limit on the paper towels. Yeah. And yeah. so I got like six of them, like six, like 12 packs. And people were glaring at me. I even went to the manager. I was like, hey, I don't see a sign that there's like one per customer here. Is uh-huh. that correct? And he goes, I don't see one either. Mm-hmm. Go ahead. And I was like pushing my cart through market bat and these people are like staring at me and then I'm like going out to my car and I'm like going faster and going faster. <laughs> and finally I just turned around. I'm like, there was no limit. There was no limit. Stop looking at me. And I'm like throwing them into the back seat. Like I didn't like and through that car the carriage thing and ripped out of there. I thought I was gonna get hurt. <laughs> it's like that was like my COVID moment. I was like, oh my god, they're gonna kill me. And I'm I so proud I of myself. Good COVID mm. moment. I had a, actually I had a couple of uh, mask things with COVID where people right. would yell at me for not wearing a mask. And mm. I'm, I'm not even talking about after mandates or anything. I'm talking about like right. early on, like early early. Well, we wrote a letter together. <laughs> yeah, but I'm talking about like probably before we were even together. Oh, I went right, somewhere. Right. Yeah. Someone was like, "You need to have a mask on." I'm like, "Oh no, I don't. It's a right. stupid fucking flu." Mm-hmm. I can't even tell you how many people I know who have had COVID at this point. It's like a lot. I know a lot of vaccinated people. Almost everybody knows. I know a COVID lot of vaccinated people. Yeah. Yeah. But I went to. Uh, where else what did I don't I go? know oh, is, uh, like, I, I know a lot of people who've had it. Right. And I know, and I know a handful of people who like had it and kept it in secret. Right. They're like, right. They're like, I got. I had. And, and, you know, I couldn't tell anyone. I just got it and I stayed home for two or three days until I felt better. <laughs> oh, my God. I like, well, I want to stay home. I'm like, go for it. I got all the sick time I got to burn. Mm-hmm. Like, shit. Mm-hmm. I love being at home. It's so fun. Uh-huh. It is fun. Oh, I remember. But I do remember going to, like, Hannaford's and my mom wanted, like, pureed pumpkin or something. I couldn't find it anywhere. 
And like all the pasta was gone. Like all the pasta and all the flour were gone. And I was like, shit. <laughs> And I went home and I was like, I got like two things of flour. Of course you do. Yeah. I made a peach cobbler for you over the summer. <laughs> and while you were driving home from Maryland and I was texting you and I loved it because I, I was like, I know you have it. I think I was looking for like vanilla extract. I got two. And I, I'm like, I think that I was looking through the cabinets. I have real vanilla extract and imitation. And I think you, you even you said need? that. I think you even said because I was looking through the cabinets. Mm-hmm. And I looked and I, I scanned over it probably five times and then I finally just texted you and I was like, look, I don't want to tell you what I'm making, but mm -hmm. I, I'm looking for an ingredient that I'm fairly positive you have. Mm -hmm. I need vanilla extract. And you were like, which one? <laughs> and then I tell you which You're like, okay, second cabinet, third shelf up. Yeah, three rows back. Three rows back. <laughs> it's behind the rosemary seed. <laughs> so rosemary seed i don't know i don't know whatever <laughs> celery seed oh and then there's the freezer uh -huh. oh yeah the i freezer. find food yeah like i find discounted like amazing like ribeyes and, and you know what though like now if i'm forever tainted from the fucking tiger king excuse my language but from when they were like <laughs> i know right i've sworn like 50 million times sorry kids <laughs> Sorry, I said tainted. So, tainted. Sorry, I said tainted. Shame. Uh, ding, ding, ding. Um, Game of Thrones. But. <laughs> in case people didn't get it. I hear that's a good show. It's a great show. <laughs> There's Dothrakis. <laughs> yeah, that's mm -hmm, right. Mm -hmm. Our boy Momo is in it. <laughs> yeah, we saw Dune. I know, but no, wait. Oh, okay, I'll so wait. So anyway, like, because of, like, remember when you used to go get the discount of food from, like, Walmart and then throw it to the poor tigers? Now I feel like that sometimes when I get, like, discounted beef. Mm-hmm. Mm -hmm. But our freezer is pretty well stocked. Did you hear that ringing? Mm -mm. I just heard a ringing. It sounded like a cell phone. Not mine. Not yours. Our door is locked. It fucking better be. I hope someone's not about to come in here. Mm -hmm. It is Halloween. I, you never It could know. be, like, a bad... A really, really well, bad. We only have a, a freaking, you know, <laughs> ghost cat, which you already talked about. Uh huh. That's right. Yeah, cats are the friendly ghost. But you were so funny. Like the other day, I open up the freezer and things are falling out, and I'm uh -huh. like trying to force it back, uh -huh. and you're like, "Do you need help?" No. No. I'm fine. I'm fine. Just, I was trying to cook breakfast. You're like, "I'm fine. Don't worry about it." Okay. Let me just get a knife and chop off some of the ice that's built up on the outside did, of the I door. <laughs> well, then I tell management, I'm like, this fridge is leaking. It's old. And uh -huh. they're like, oh, because the freezer. I'm like, it's not the freezer. Uh-huh. It's not the freezer. It's not the freezer. I mean, it is the freezer. Well, I don't know, actually. It might be the freezer, but something's going on where, like, that freezer door won't shut. Yeah. But it's not your food. <laughs> it's not your food. No, <laughs> I put duct tape shot. on it to shut it. <laughs> there's some good stuff in there, though. There's uh -huh. ribeye in there. There's like um. There's another one, like a sirloin that's in there. There's salmon. There's tater tots. Like there's pork tips from McKinnon's, which is a really good butcher shop around here. There's mm -hmm. chocolate mm -hmm. ice cream and butter for days. Uh huh. Just like all kinds, there's just good things in there. Yeah, I'm and, not moving it. Yeah, if things go really bad, then we're gonna be. I think that we probably like most. I think most people probably can. Today, I had that beef that had been in there. The if beef you got roll, locked, I just like you know. I feel like most people, if they mm -hmm. got locked in their house, and I mean locks, locked up, they they're not yeah. going anywhere. And uh, they're like probably his house? they're probably good to go for two or three days. Right. Maybe maybe four or five days. Right. I think we're good to go. We could survive for at least two weeks. You know maybe what I even need, a month. Though, that I haven't thought about? I need to get powdered eggs and powdered milk. Yeah. Because I don't have... I'm putting them on my list right now. Yeah. Yeah, because I don't have that. Because what if we needed to make that? And that's right. like the one thing I don't have. So I'm going to get yeah, it. All right, right. You can talk about Dune and... We saw Dune. Uh, it was good. I never no saw cur. the one. I never saw the one in the 80s that was made. Or read the books. I never read the books. Um... I, the, the, so here's the thing, and I'm going to fuck it up for the rest of you, too, if you're planning to go see it. Right before we went to go see it, my mate here came home, and she was like, oh, a guy at work told me, not a spoiler, but it does have kind of a abrupt ending. Mm -hmm. Like, it ends, you know, sooner than you think. Because it's a series. Because it's a series, right. which is exactly what I would expect out of that kind of movie. Like, like I don't, I don't know. I, I'm trying to think of another movie that's like that, that starts off with the first one and you're like okay you know there's gonna be more so it right. has like kind of an unfinished ending to it 
And I was perfectly fine with that part, except that it fucked me up for the whole movie because I was like, okay, this must be the last scene. Okay, this must be the last scene. And you went to the bathroom. And I went to the bathroom and I looked at the time and we had been in there for like an hour and a half at that point. And I thought, oh shit, it's going to end in the next like 20 minutes Mm. or so. So the movie is about three hours long. (laughs) So if you go see... It was long. It was really long. (laughs) It was really, really long. It compared to Monster Squad that was like an 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 hour and a half. Yeah, in and out. (laughs) I was like, love them 80 movies. They're like an hour and a half. They get their story fucking told. Yeah, hour and a half. It's great. Mm -hmm. End game, three hours. Uh Uh-uh, no. No, it's too long. It's too much time. The span of an adult's 25 minutes. Yeah, it's too long. Uh, I mean, I love End Game, but... I can't, I can't, I, I, I was able you. to watch it twice, huh? I love you. I love you more. I love you more. <laughs> You're cute. No. I love you. You just said, snuck in and I, said, I love I said, you. Shh, keep going, keep going. Um, <laughs> I saw Endgame twice from start to finish without interruption. And that was when it came out in mm-hmm. theaters. Mm-hmm. That's it. Yeah. Ever since, I've probably watched it a two dozen times or more mm-hmm. and i can't do it in one shot right i can't even start it and and watch it all i gotta start like halfway through and i'll watch to the end mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. yeah what else do we watch some crappy movie i pick. i've been picking out crappy yeah we watched movies. his house Aww, on netflix good. well i picked no, witch hunt witch hunt that was bad not good and his house both movies the trailers will make you think that there's people in the walls. Yeah, or like that there's some sort of like poltergeist. I like the movies yeah. with the spirits and the and the poltergeist and yeah. the exorcisms. And I've been I thought the witch one was gonna have like more witchy powers. Yeah, and it had almost no witchy. And they had powers. some like connection to Dom and Louise. It was the stupidest yeah, thing ever. It was very politicized yeah. of like Black Lives Matter, Witch Lives Matter type of thing. And then Which I get it, but just like portray it like that. And then the movie we watched today was very much like immigration, refugee, refugee, stuff, which was stuff. good. It was good about that. It's about your own having your own demons and yeah. facing your own, which I think there's a that's <laughs> it had a, a good weird story ass there. Twist towards the end, yeah, white devil, <laughs> white demon. <laughs> so you can just kill a demon with never mind. Yeah, you can just cut it. You can just kill you can a demon just with a never mind. Yeah, but it had like a hundred percent Rotten Tomatoes. I know, which is you know just once again, I don't trust Rotten Tomatoes. Oh, I don't usually either. I usually like I like the fifty percenter. So mm. the next movie, but but Monster Squad was great. Monster Squad was pretty good. Oh man, it really I, it was made in the eighties, so of course like it's very nostalgia. What? That's okay. I'm what like, I know you're going to say something about the effects weren't very special. That's not what I was going to say at all. Okay, well, I'm going to leave you with it. Go ahead say, and say it. I was going to say how great it was okay, to see, thank like, you. to see, like, you know, kids being outside. Riding their bikes. Kids riding their bikes. They're, like, fighting It's 1987. Monsters. Nintendo was around. That's not what was going on in that movie. Right, right. They had a kick-ass treehouse. They did. They were spying on they naked girls They were spying girls on the naked door. girl next door right. who said she's a virgin and she's not. <laughs> Is she a virgin? She's... <laughs> yeah, parents not listening then, to their kids about monsters in their room. They got monsters in their rooms. And then the kid was like, you said you're a virgin. And she's like, well, Sean, he doesn't count. Doesn't count. <laughs> That's good. It was almost like Goonies during Halloween. Yeah. I yeah. feel like. Not, yeah, it was you know, Goonies ass. But not, yeah, Goonies ass. Not exactly like Goonies. Not as good as Goonies. There's Goonies so many more 80 movies that really we have to great. see. Yeah. Have you ever seen The NeverEnding Story? I did as a child. I haven't seen it since I was a child. We're gonna watch it. We're gonna have it. We have to do like an eighties day. I wasn't cool with the with the with the border collie being called a dragon. He was a dragon. No, it wasn't he flew. a dragon. That doesn't yeah. make him a dragon. Birds fly too. Okay, we're gonna talk about that. <laughs> we're gonna table that for another day. Bats also fly. We're gonna table that Fly- for another day. Flying squirrels. He just had a dog head. <laughs> that was it. <laughs> Talk about some of your video games and movies. I'm I'm mad at you. <laughs> what was that? What's yeah. That link? What's this? Oh my god. What is this? <gasps> Remember that? And I talked about girls <laughs> doing. We were talking about escaping. I don't know why it's zoomed in so much, but yeah. Yeah. Are you sharing your screen right now? No, I'm not. Are you gonna? Uh, I can. 
Well, I thought that was part of why you left that link there. I left it there so we'd remember to talk about it. No, you left it there because you were going to share your screen with those pictures. Okay, what do you want to talk about? Well, first of all, why don't you tell the people Whoa, what we're talking about? How about you about? go back and get the regular thing going there, and then we'll talk about it. Okay. We were talking about, I was talking about manscaping routines. Uh-huh. What do guys have to worry about? It's easier for guys to shave than it is for girls down there. Yeah. That's what I said. That's what we were talking about. Yeah. And then I was like, I wonder if there's any like little templates or something that you can use. That's why I said to get the thing up there. It's me. going. It's sharing right now. I know, but that's not. You're on the wrong screen. Oh, well, uh, if only I had one. a little back button. Yeah, there you go. There we go. Yeah, and I was like, I wonder if there's like little templates or something. Uh-huh. And look at these, like stencils. Yeah. That's what I said. Stencils, stencils. Yes. And then look at. Yeah. You put those on there and you can make a heart. Yeah, so if you're... Lips? Listening to the audio version, we're sitting at 59 minutes right now, and uh, you got yeah, there's yeah, you, there's a handful of like you can like you know for you ladies, or I guess you can use this if you're a guy, you can, you know, just put this little stencil on here, and then you shave around it. You can make a half moon or crescent moon, the star, lightning bolt. You want to be a little Harry Potter, right? Harry Pooter. Well, it came up. Oh. <laughs> Harry Putin. Harry Pooter, and you can put a little lightning bolt in your vag. Right, because we, well, we were talking about, like, I was your sponsor, your manscaping. Manscape. Yeah, sponsor, and I, it just kind of got us talking. And I yeah. was like, well, it's harder for guys, right? Because we have all these other... I know what it was. I was mm. talking about shaving armpits, and I'm like, it irritates me because your armpit is, like, concave, right? Yeah, But okay. you just have a straight razor. Yeah. And that's what got us talking. I'm like, they should make, like, a nice little concave razor... For the girls, and then we started talking about downstairs. Yes. Yeah. And I was saying that guys still have stuff to work around. Right. I gotta move. Right. Gotta, everything's on the outside. I gotta move stuff. Yeah, but you gotta. Everything's around the outside. Like it's just like I don't know. I don't. If I get down into the crevices here, in the chode. Who's looking in there? Nobody's looking in there, but I I have to look in there. For what? Well, I don't so have to look. How's that bothering you? Because it bothers me. Because I think about you. I'm trying to be a considerate partner. I'm not down there, like digging. No, maybe not with, with the your flashlight? hands. Isn't it soft air down there? Isn't what? Isn't it soft air down there? Yeah, it's pretty sensitive. I, I don't know what's sensitive, but soft yeah. Soft air. Soft. Soft air, like not no. coarse. Like your beard's coarse. I think it's much like my beard. Oh. I'm I'm pretty sure it's almost you exactly like hair. my beard. Do you like some hair? Uh, well, you like some hair, so I leave some hair. Because you're a man. I, I do like the landing strip from, I like the a belly, man. from the belly button all the way down. I want to see a man. And in fact, ever since you It'd brought it up. It'd be weird if you didn't, like, because then, what are you, 11? Ever since you brought it up, now I'm like, yeah, I guess that does make sense. Leave yeah. some stuff there. It's a man. Yeah, I am a man. I'm your yeah. man. <laughs> Don't kiss me on there. <laughs> But then I was just like, wow, I wonder if there's anything that's helpful for us, you know? Yeah. And somehow you came up with stencils. And they're really, and I was like, Google it. Uh-huh. Yeah. How and much are they? 12 bucks, I think. Uh, did I already? No, I didn't close it. Oh, wait, but you get all of them. Oh, yeah. hold on. 10, 67, 11, 13, seven yeah. pieces of private, wait, Stencil. bikini privates, shaving stencils that female pubic hair trimmer, shaver, sexy, secret, intimate shaping Wow, that's a big definition. Yeah. yeah. Interesting. Then you got to upkeep that stuff. Yeah. Then you I get, don't yeah. Know. Oh, 92.8% feedback. Yeah. Positive. Yeah. They got they got um five stars based on their reviews, but uh 38 orders. Yeah, but you can't like read the reviews anyway. What if it was Wish? <laughs> I think, what if it? What if it I feel came like, from? What if Wish? Oh, it's China Air Postal, of course. This is AliExpress.com, so I feel like this might be just a Wish uh, type <laughs> website. Wish came and they were all cookie cutters. Because then, if you click on, <laughs> yeah, they would be too. They're like Christmas trees. Because the same, <laughs> the same website selling the vagina stencil kit also sh also sells cell phone accessories you're gonna talk about your sponsors yeah i am gonna talk about my sponsors and then we're Segway. gonna get the fuck out of here because it's quarter past 11 come on it's a school night let's yeah, go yeah it's school night time for school i can't wait to sleep in our creepy house tonight i know it is yeah, yeah it's cool that's my room yeah oh over here oh, oh no over yep okay. <laughs> uh -huh. this one's this one's mine right here that that's my room. <laughs> 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 
Creepy house. Creepy house. But hey, it was it was in our price range for Portsmouth. Yeah, we can live here now. Mm-hmm. Do we got plenty of? We're gonna make it into a multi-family. Come here. Um. It's okay, cool. sponsors. All right, sponsors. Adam and Eve, oh. I have to spend a full minute on if I want to get paid. So, uh, Adam Eve Do it. Um, Do it. Is there Halloween stuff? They have to have Halloween they, stuff. I'm sure. I got a text oh message gosh. from them today, letting me know. There's a Halloween stuff in there. Yeah, Adam Eve. Dot com. Wow, uh, there's pumpkins yeah. on boobies. Pumpkins on boobies. A uh, Halloween treat. Forty percent off. Yeah. Except with my code, you get 50% off any Holy one moly. item. Offer code ADULTING. That's a deal. Um, shower stroker. Shower stroker. You're going to do it anyway. If you're, What was that? What did that say? If it you're said gonna, something about your mouth. What did, that, what did that little... You're going to do it anyway. Do it better. Wow. Bad grammar. Wait, go back. Translucent vibrating. Well, no. I'm going to click on the link. Okay. Shower there's stroker like a, triplets. There's a bunch of them. Triplets? Sh- you, you get the option of the shower stroker mouth, ass, or pussy. Oh, my gosh. <laughs> hey, welcome to my show. Oh, my gosh. <laughs> and then you, well, at least you're going to be, whoa. Vibrating shower stroker. Whoa. Let's click on the one that starts with a P. Whoa. It is. Uh, get down with. <laughs> <laughs> OPP. <laughs> hey, you know me. It is nineteen dollars and ninety five cents, but if you use my offer code adulting, you can get this bad boy for probably like nine dollars and ninety five cents or something like that. Yeah, five picks. Can you look, can you show me the picks? Oh yeah, yeah. Let's go through those. Yeah, I'm what curious. do the pictures look like? I mean, it's not anything I can use, but no. I just wonder if that looks like mine. Not really. No, no not even close. Actually, it's doesn't weird. look do like, they, like yours. Who are the artists for these things? Do you ever think about that? Guys that don't get laid. Seriously though, like is somebody like sitting in a lab making like dildos and things that you know imitation vaginas, and somebody's like sitting there and they're like painting them like they do with like fake teeth. Right. Well, they have. What they, is that called? They have a supplement, uh, if you want to call it a supplement, that guys can take called Yummy Cum. Right. And I always wondered like who's field testing that. Oh. <laughs> you know. Prisoners. <laughs> <laughs> mm-hmm. Those are Fifi. We used to call those Fifi dolls. Mm-hmm. It's just a sock. So, AdamEve.com. You can go there, use offer code ADULTING. You get 50% off any one item plus a special gift package. They'll send you uh, something for you some, or something for her, or something for him, something for you both. Yeah, it's Halloween gift for you guys. And a little DVD package, a little video on demand package. We watched DVD tonight. Mm-hmm. Monster Squad. We watched Monster Squad on DVD. Yeah. Um, so yeah, go there. Adam and Eve, they've been in business for like 120 years. And wow. um, they have award-winning customer service. And you call their customer service number and, and you say, uh, I, I, just, I just don't feel like I can go on anymore. Stop it. And then they, their customer service will be like, uh, sir, this is Adam and Eve. I, I know, but... I'm just feeling really down. I haven't. And they'll, Stop it. They're like, we're always discreet. They'll be like, we will. We're always discreet. 24 7. We can help you through this. Oh my God. Stop. We'll, we can help you through this. We sell dick pills. Are they in cute clothes? Um, you Lingo, can click lingerie. on lingerie. Lingerie. Hold on. I'm getting lingerie. on the lingerie here. Have they got any uh, other side? Women's wear? Yeah. They better. don't usually. Oh, that's but wrong. Go ahead and give it a check. Yeah, I'm going to look and see if they got any Halloween y. Oh. I like that they get some red stockings there, some lace top stockings. Mm-hmm. Yeah, you can get those anywhere. But what what makes Adam Neve good? I like um, that they're doing better about different sizes for women. They get all different sizes. They get the old navy sizes. I'm a dancer down. <laughs> I like this little outfit right there. That's cute. Scandal peekaboo. Scandal peekaboo mini dress. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Don't call it a bra if it doesn't hold your boobies in. That's a good point. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Wow. It looks like they got a lot of like stripper gear. Well, I don't know what the I like girls the secretary up there. Right there. Okay. Like I was that. you know, what were you up like Halloween? I was oh, they got a naughty nurse. Of course they got a naughty nurse. Trixie. Mm-hmm. I was always like someday I'm gonna dress up as a sexy cop. Yeah. With the SWAT stuff. And yeah. 
Yeah. Like the like you're gonna go spandex type of thing. Yeah. Yeah. I'm gonna get yeah the leather. You're gonna do the that pleather. for me. Yeah. You can do that for me sooner than I'm later. I'm gonna go to work like that. I'm pull no, over. Yeah. First of all, you're not pull over. First of all, you're not. There's a noise complaint, boys. Second of all, I'm not opposed to coming home and you being like that. What are you going to dress up as? Sexy meal man? I'm just going to wear fishnet boxes. Meal's not always delivering, mm. ladies. That's oh. not a bad idea. Maybe the milkman. Yeah. All right. I'll, let's, I'll, let's... Try, I'll do like a... That's what they should do is like a... Uh, instead of Reno 911, it should be like a Reno post office. Why don't they have like seducer male outfits? They should. Like I mean for men. What do you mean? Like sexy guy outfits. They have them. All right. They have them just not on this website. I think Yandy has some. Well, sometimes I'm like, I don't think it's right that girls are always the ones that have to do dress up. Do you do dress up for him? Like, does he dress up for you? Like, WF. UWF? WTF. WTF. <laughs> I was, like, shortening it. I don't know. I mean, yeah. The, yeah well, the female strippers are far more common than male strippers. Exotic dancers. Female dancers are far more common than Maybe. male dancers. Women are crazy. If you ever go to those like Thunder Down Under or friggin' Magic Men, mm-hmm. women are nuts. Mm. They don't behave at I've all. Seen There's some a of lot the of rules. Like I think some like of the yeah, that I peruse once in a while. Well, some of the men ones, like you know, like the women ones, like you know, dancers, like you're not supposed to touch them and stuff like that. Mm-hmm. But these ones, these like they're sitting on uh-huh. laps and they're oh, yeah. open and oh yeah. There's Captain America panties. I've seen some of the videos. It's pretty intense. It's like, yeah, woman cheats on husband at bachelor party. Ugh. It's easy stuff to find. Ugh, <laughs> Ugh not good dancers. Mm-mm, no. I'm like, you need to go do some more dancing, Bad sir. boundaries. Yeah. You have bad boundaries, yeah. sir. That's right. Excuse me. Yeah. I just came here for a good time with my Shame. lady friends. Ding, 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 ding. I don't need to see your dick wobbling Shame. around. Ding, 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 ding. You're not the real police. Get mm-hmm. out of here. Scram. Beat mm-hmm. it. Yeah. <laughs> you ready to go to bed? Yeah, get that discount. I'm ready to go to bed. Yeah, uh, 4HM clothing, Mile High Angel, uh, Manscape.com. Someone made a massive, huge order from StrikeEnergy.com, which I haven't. Been, they haven't been a sponsor in like a year, but thank you whoever did because they sent me a bunch of money. So Ooh. you can go to Strike Force Energy too. All of those are offer code adulting, uh, and all of them have varying discounts. I think 4HM is 10% off any order over fifty dollars. Yes. Our boy they Justin, Justin. Um, mm-hmm. Mile High Angel is uh, 10% off your order. Uh, Manscaped.com, you get 20% off plus free shipping. That's something I forgot about, Adam Eve. It's, it's uh, 50% off any one item. All those things I mentioned plus fit free shipping. Manscaped is like blown um, up though. Manscaped They're like is, partners with the Olympics. and Yep, 20% all like off stuff. your order. And um, Strike Force Energy is also uh, 10% off your order. Good job, babe. Thank Remembering you. all that. Thank I'm you. impressed. Yeah. Thanks. Mm. Thank you for being on the show with me. Thanks for having me. I love you. Thanks for having me every night for the rest of your life. Your life too, woman. I'm in. Yeah. Pinky swear. You're stuck with me. Oh. Yeah, you're stuck with me. <laughs> yeah. I'm not going Ochre. anywhere. I'm happy about that. I'm fine with that. Good. Okay, me I'll too. This off so okay. we can um, Halloween. Yeah, so we can do stuff. Okay. Good night, everyone. Bye. Bye. Happy Halloween. <laughs> Okay. How did that go so fast? I don't know. I sound drunk. <laughs>